fired FBI Director James Comey is being accused of working with ISIS members in a terror plot on American soil The lawyer representing the security guard shot in the 2015 terror attack on a community center in Garland, Texas, is suing the FBI for allowing the attack to occur According to the lawyer, the FBI helped the terrorists obtain a weapon that was used in the attack by lifting a hole during a background check, incited the terrorists to attack the Garland event, and even sent an agent to accompany the terrorists as they carried out the attack, reports the Washington Examiner They are seeking over $8 million in damages. On May 3, 2015, free speech advocates held a controversial Draw Mohammed contest at the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland, Texas. Multiple hadiths followed by modern interpretations of Islam strictly forbid visual depictions of the Prophet Muhammad. L.T. Simpson and Nader Thuvi, two Islamic terrorists offended by the event, drove from their home in Phoenix to Garland with the intentions of unleashing a massacre Their vehicle was stocked with three handguns, three rifles, and over 1,500 rounds of ammunition Simpson and Sufi were stopped by security guards at a perimeter checkpoint before they could make their way to the community center Bruce Joyner, a security guard and the plaintiff in the case against the FBI, was present at the checkpoint The two terrorists opened fire at the checkpoint but were quickly gunned down by the overwhelming security present Joyner was shot in the leg and is the only victim of the terror attack. However, as details of the tragic shooting became public, oddities started cropping up. For instance, according to a 60 Minutes report from March, an undercover FBI agent was parked in a car behind the two terrorists, apparently planning to watch the events of the attack unfold. The undercover agent snapped pictures of the terrorist vehicle moments before the attack and had been in prior communications with the terrorists, texting Simpson, tear up Texas, weeks before the attacks After the shooting started, the FBI agent fled, only to be detained by Garland police attempting to flee According to Joyner's lawyer, Trenton Roberts, the FBI may have wanted Simpson and Sufi to complete their terror attack Roberts explained that this was either a complete botched operation, where the FBI don't want the attack to actually take place, or it's something where they need the attack to take place in order for the undercover agent to advance in the world of ISIS And that's really what I think. I think that they thought he's undercover and in order to advance, he needed to get pictures or video of this attack, and then that would bolster his street cred within ISIS, Robert said, suggesting that the FBI was willing to let potentially dozens of Americans die to advance their investigation. Security guard shot in the 2015 terror attack on a community center in Garland, Texas, is suing the FBI for allowing the attack to occur Was the FBI involved in this matter? Trenton Roberts is also accusing former FBI director James Comey of covering up the FBI's role in the terror attack In the aftermath of the attack Former FBI Director James Comey lied to the American people by claiming that Simpson was a needle in a haystack that was invisible to us, according to court documents Even after it had come to light that an undercover FBI agent had been communicating extensively with the terrorists during the week prior to the event and had accompanied them as they carried out the attack, the FBI continued to assert 
that there was no advanced knowledge of a plot to attack the cartoon drawing contest. Garland police say the FBI never informed them of the incoming attack. It will be interesting to see what comes of the lawsuit, given the strong evidence 